And now, coming to you live from WIMP in Saratoga Springs, New York, it's the Purple News Hour with Andy Kabiri and Jason Sutherland. Welcome to Purple News Hour. I'm Andy Kabir. I'm a freshman from Decatur, Georgia. I'm currently planning on majoring in astrophysics with a double minor in vocal performance and geosciences. I'm currently the head musical director for Drastic Measures. I take part in intramural and varsity volleyball, golf, and rugby. And I'm currently doing research on waves. And I'm Jason Sutherland. Tonight on Purple News, the 2005-2015 strategic plan is coming to an end. Has it been a success? How has it affected students? Let's find out. Earlier today, we caught up with Rochelle Calhoun to get see her perspective on how the strategic plan has helped to improve Skidmore over the past 10 years. Let's take a look. Dean Calhoun, thank you so much for agreeing to come meet me here today. Thank you for having me, Mr. Wagner. Well, we just had a few questions about the school's strategic plan, if you'd like to answer them. Of course. So tell me, what would you say are the most important points of the college's strategic plan? Um, I think all the points of the strategic plan are really important. Um, the part, parts that I put most effort into are res responsible citizenship and global and intercultural understanding. I think these are the most important points for our students to be successful in a changing world. How are you incorporating parts of the college's past strategic plan into the one being created for 2015 to 2025? Well, I'm sure that we're going to have new ideas in the new plan. We're not going to stray completely away from our, the ideas in our old plan. We really want to continue the same themes in this new plan, similar themes. Do you think that the college's past strategic plan was as successful as it was intended to be? There's no doubt in my mind that Skidmore College is the institution it is today because of the current strategic plan. And how important do you think the strategic plan is to the student body? Actually, when I was interviewing for the dean's position at Skidmore College, I was really impressed by how articulate all the students the students were regarding the strategic plan. Um, students care deeply about the college and its future. We also had the chance to speak with Skidmore's president, Philip Glotzbach. He gave us some more specifics on the strategic plan. Well said, Andy. You know, I heard Philip Glotzbach once ran a four-minute mile. You don't say. Let's see. President Glotzbach, the strategic plan states that one goal of the college is to improve equality in students' academic opportunities. What has Skidmore done to try and achieve that? My staff and I are proud to say that all Skidmore students have the same academic opportunities. How have we accomplished this? Well, we started by strengthening the relationship between students and their faculty advisors, making sure that all students are able to look up to their faculty advisors as a mentor, a confidant, and a friend. We've also invested our time in making sure that research opportunities are open to all students, even first years. Imagine that Skidmore is a building. What we've done is strengthen the foundation so that all students are able to grow without our building collapsing and becoming a safety hazard. Any questions? Allegedly, the college has tried to increase the percentage of students that study abroad in order to broaden the student body's cultural awareness. If you could study abroad anywhere, where would you go? Skidmore offers a wide variety of study abroad opportunities in order to give students a diverse cultural experience. But where would you study abroad? Disneyland, obviously. Skidmore puts a lot of emphasis on the ideas of residential learning, according to part three of the strategic plan. Living in a residence hall, how would you say you have experienced this at Skidmore? Well, I don't actually live in a residence hall. <laughs> we like to leave those for the students. However, my team has worked closely with the Office of Residential Life in order to ensure that our students are under the best care possible. Our resident assistants go through weeks of training to facilitate smooth transitions from home to school for each student and throughout the year promote a community atmosphere to each residence hall. Students are also held to a very high standard of behavior allowing them the opportunity to take responsibility for our actions. Our honor code and alcohol and drug policies provide a framework for students to establish their own sense of responsibility so that in the future they continue to make productive choices for themselves. I know you try to do a lot for Skidmore in terms of its credibility among its peer institutions and its access to resources. What role do Skidmore students play in this objective? Skidmore students will be able to collaborate with their professors on research projects that will acclimate them to the working world and leave them to successful futures. 
Once students graduate, they will become part of a powerful alumni network and will graciously donate their hard-earned cash to the development of a better skateboard. Students are the blank canvas upon which I paint my vision. Well, Philip, what a great guy. You know, I heard he was a three-time WWE champion. You don't say. In other news, research at Skidmore. What's the deal? How does it affect our students and our faculty? And now we'll go to Isabel, live in the field, and she'll tell us a little bit more about research. Thanks, Jason. Today, we're here with Sem, Skidmore's scanning electron microscope. How are you doing, Sem? I'm doing just fine, thanks. Would you be willing to tell us a little bit about your interactions with Skidmore students conducting lab research here? Well, one thing I love about living here in this room at Skidmore is that I get to watch students as early as their freshman year come in and use me. It's so fun to see the progression of their work as they look through my ocular lenses over the course of their four years. Some of my students even get their work published by using me. It sounds like that there's a lot of great opportunities for students to do research here. Um, considering that it's perhaps unusual since Skidmore is a small liberal arts college. Um, since you live here year-round, uh, are there research opportunities for um, students all year-round as well? Why, yes. Many students are actually paid around $3,000 and receive free housing to keep me company throughout the summer. I don't mean to brag, but I am one of the most powerful electron microscopes on the market, and I'm wanted by many well-regarded research institutions. And what's the hardest part of your job, Sam? I feel like people are always looking through me, but never at me. Well, thank you so much for letting us come out here. Keep up the great work. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Isabel. Really fantastic stuff. You know, speaking of research, I heard that Philip Glotzbach led the team of researchers that cured polio. Really? He also strangled an alligator on his honeymoon. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Andy Kabiri. I'm Jason Sutherland. This has been the Purple News Hour. Stay classy, Sears Hotel. And that's all for today. Join us next time when we'll have an exclusive interview with Jack Mallory on how he keeps his beard so finely trimmed.